Hello? Is this College Board customer service? Who are you? I'm calling to ask about the fee reductions for the AP test. <laughs> so about the reduct- Are you serious? Dear College Board, you are trash. So just in case you don't know, the College Board is a non-profit institution that is heavily involved in the college process. This includes things like AP credits and standardized testing, or the SAT, which you've probably heard of. Now, I want to preface this by saying that despite the title, I don't actually completely hate the College Board. AP classes are very cool, and having a chance at college credit can save so much money. And they're in general more in-depth than regular classes too, which is really nice. The SAT is also very necessary because there needs to be a national standard for colleges to compare high school students to. That being said, I still think the College Board is really trashy. Before I really delve into my complaints, you should know that despite being a non-profit organization, the College Board actually makes a ton of money. Like in 2017, just three years ago, they made over a billion dollars and still had a profit over a hundred million, and they paid certain executives over $300,000 a year. So in short, they're really rich. So firstly, the cost of their tests. The SAT costs around $60 and an AP test costs around $90. But there's financial aid, so it's all good, right? Well, yes, but no. For the SAT, if you're low income, you can qualify for two fee waivers, so you don't have to pay for two SATs, but you can take up to six SATs. And for AP tests, you pay half price instead of full price, which is actually more reasonable because you're not going to be taking that many AP classes all in one year. And actually, that applies to the SAT too, because most people aren't going to be taking six tests, and if they do, there's actually a good bit of time in between each test, so if you really needed to, you could probably save it the money. But that's only a minor complaint of mine. Actually, trying to get this aid is a lot harder said than done in practice. When I was getting fee waivers for the SAT, I managed to get both of them, but when I got my second one, my counselor said I got lucky, and this is actually the last one they had. That's good for me and all, but that means that potentially, some kid who is poorer than me didn't get the fee waiver that they needed. This also means that the college board gives out only a limited number of fee waivers to each school, which is just ridiculous. Like, think back to how much money that they do make, and they're still being this stingy. As for the AP test reductions, I actually never managed to get them even though I qualified. Navigating the website was really confusing, I emailed my counselor, but he didn't get to me in time because just this year they changed the deadline for applying to October. And keep in mind, this is my first year taking AP tests and stuff like that. I was sort of scrambling to figure everything out, and they really just didn't give me enough time to do so. And this brings you to my next complaint. They're super aggressive in how they want you to pay. So the reason to change the deadline to October is that they want everyone who's taking an AP class to also pay for the test. But I think it's fine if kids want to take an AP class without taking the test. The test is very stressful and some kids just want a higher level class. Changing a deadline just feels like they're trying to wring out as much money as possible from kids as they can, and keep in mind how much money they already do have. Oh hey, how's it going? So when I recorded this, the question hadn't hit yet, but now that it has, I can say right now that this problem is made even worse, because they essentially just made us pay like 8 months in advance for a test that may or may not count for credit, because it's so watered down. Or in some other cases, a test where we may or may not get a refund for, because we all know how College Board is with refunds. And this wouldn't even have been a problem if they just didn't make us pay early. So yeah, making us pay in October was just a really terrible idea. So anyways, continue with the video, hope you're enjoying. The SAT late fees by itself, I think, are fine. Signing up later makes it harder for them to organize, so I can see why there would be an extra cost, but the amount of emails they send me about late fees, even if like I've already signed up for it, it's just ridiculous. You have to hand it to their marketing department. They sent so many emails, and have so much promotion, especially where they're spending all their money. Also, it should just, like, not cost money to send scores to colleges. Like, what are they doing? Raising a pigeon and flying our scores over? No, they're just sending it electronically. It shouldn't cost money at all. And I'm gonna remind you a lot, they have so much money, so they just shouldn't be doing this. Now, obviously, College Board is a company, and companies want to make money, so doesn't this make sense? Well, in the first place, I don't think a company should have this much power over our education. Now, in case you didn't notice, I'm Asian. A big reason why my family came to America was for equal opportunity and free education. But the way College Board runs it, it makes education past high school level the opposite of free. And my main problem with that is that it doesn't need to be like this. They have so much money, they could easily make it more affordable if they wanted to. 
And I don't think College Board or any private company really should be in charge of education like this. They're treating education like a business and they definitely have a monopoly over it. Like sure, stuff like the ACT and IB exist, but in a lot of areas, none of those options are available. For example, at my school, nobody even knows what IB is. So if you want to go to college, you're most likely going to have to go through College Board at some point. I still think it's right how oil companies and Disney can be criticized for having a monopoly, but when it's about education, College Board is suddenly exempt, I think there should be more options. Though to be fair, the situation is a bit more complex because trusting a new company with things like standardization can be very risky. But again, I think stuff like this should be in the hands of the government and not any sort of private company like College Board. To be making so much money off of education in a country that holds itself up as a place of accessible learning, especially when it's off of people who aren't very informed or educated themselves, just feels so trashy. Oh, you want a higher level of education? Well sure, but first go pay College Board a few thousand dollars, then we'll talk. So TLTW, College Board sucks ass, they're greedy, they're really predatory even against low income families, and they're just not morally right. But uh, yeah, that's mainly it, just me venting about College Board. Ironically, this video is actually adapted off of an essay I wrote in a College Board certified class. So, hey, at the very least, they support freedom of speech. Thanks for watching, and good luck on the SAT slash AP test if you're taking them. And College Board, you are trash. I am so glad to be done with you. So, uh, like I said, this video is adapted off of my uh, essay, so please don't take it too seriously. A lot of it was just me messing around with like Photoshop and Sony Vegas and it's been a while. If you want a more informative video, then I recommend checking out this video by Polymatter. Their video is much more well researched and well produced than mine, which is just me like goofing off. I'm sure I made a lot of shoddy points or evidence, so. And yeah, that's it. Are you serious? <laughs>